Hey up guys, thank you for watching. Now last week I made a stereo for my workshop using some old car parts. Everything ran fine apart from the fact that it wouldn't receive any FM radio signals. Now I've had a lot of suggestions from you guys as to how I can remedy the issue, so I thought I'd make a quick video doing some experiments and implementing some of the advice that you guys have given to see whether we can get this thing receiving some FM radio signals. So first things first is I'm gonna take the back off and have a look to see whether we've got wiring issues or if we've forgotten to do something. Thanks to a lot of your comments and a little bit of sleuthing online, I've realised that there's a relationship between the monopole antenna and the common ground that's used in a car situation. Now we don't have that set up because we're not running it off a battery and there isn't a common ground here because we're using a power inverter. So what I'm thinking now is I'm going to try and find the 12 volt ground in our wiring loom and connect it to the mesh cage that we made. A lot of people have said that I'm not receiving signal because this is basically a Faraday cage situation, but we're just gonna try it first to see if that does solve anything. So I've pulled off the DC negative or ground and I'm just gonna add this little alligator clip to it. Then we can connect the other side of the alligator clip to the outside cage so that that is earthed. Then I'm just gonna turn it over, plug it in and see if that will give us a signal. Let's search, nothing yet, hmm. Ah. Okay, that was a failure because by removing the alligator clip, it didn't lose any signal. It didn't change anything. It didn't improve the signal and it also, it just basically, it did nothing. So we need to figure some more stuff out. By searching for and receiving that signal and then removing our new ground plate, the fact that it did nothing to it, it didn't cause the signal to drop out or anything like that, that basically shows us that that method doesn't work. So the next thing I'm going to do is completely remove part of the antenna. The stereo came with a little signal booster for the antenna. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that completely and just make a standard dipole antenna just to see if that helps improve the signal or if we can pick something up with a dipole instead of using the signal booster because it's clearly not doing anything. All I'm going to do is I'm going to use this cable in order to wire up a new big antenna in hopes that that will allow us to receive a signal. In order to do this experiment, basically I'm not going to bother building it all now because it might not work. So I've got some long pieces of wire and what this is is basically it's low carbon steel copper coated TIG welding wire and I'm going to connect this up so it acts like an antenna and see if it will receive a signal. If it does and the test is successful, then then we can go ahead and make the new antenna. So we've got our meter long wires all connected up. So now we just need to turn on the radio and see if we can get a signal. Searching, not looking good. Ooh. We've got a weak signal. Let's see if we can improve it by moving around some things. That was classic FM by the way. We'll pay your first three finance payments, plus we'll pay your deposit. I've managed to receive some signal, however, it is only in the high frequency range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some more experiments in order to improve its capabilities of receiving signal. Now, I'm going to set it to a radio station that I know is kind of notorious in this area for weak signal. And I know from experience that it is quite difficult to pick up this signal indoors. At this point, I am almost certain that that is coming into play. As I said in the previous video, I am actually in a bricked garage that has flats above me. So I reckon the signal is struggling to penetrate into the building that I'm in. So if this doesn't work, I may resort to extending the antenna to be outside. But first, let's see if we can boost the signal. I've got a faint signal and that's a good starting point. So I'm going to use that as the baseline and then we'll know if the experiments basically improve the signal in any way. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a cable to the positive and the negative side of the electrodes that are acting as the antenna. So I'm basically going to boost him with the power that's running through the stereo at the moment. Okay, that didn't work and it produced a bit of a burning smell, so obviously not going to do that. I think what happened is it'll cause a feedback loop, it, it, it heat, heated up our cable as one of these is already live. So maybe I've got it the wrong way around, I'm going to quickly check. Oh! 
That has improved the signal a little bit. I think that was it. I think that's it. Yeah, taking it off loses it as well. So that definitely boosts the signal. And I think it's just because it's running some power through it. So just having some power through that has been an improvement. Let's take them off. Does seem to make a slight difference. It is a little bit, I mean, I don't know of how much of a difference it makes, but it does seem to make a bit of a difference. Oh. That is boosting it a little bit. I reckon maybe with some tweaking, we might be able to actually find, find a strong signal. Let's have a look. Know you well, don't they? Do a bit of a manual search, see if we can find something. No, it's not done any better. Okay, so what I think the thing to do is, is I reckon it is the room. So I'm gonna make an antenna that can go outside and see if that improves things. But obviously first, I'm gonna test the theory. In order to do this, I've got some coaxial cable that is long enough to reach outside. All I'm gonna do is just temporarily wire it up and just to see if it will receive a signal outside of this building. And then we can make the antenna if it works. Nothing. So I'm gonna try a few different things to see if we can get a signal. The first thing is, all I'm gonna do is just manually control the FM stations and see if it just needs a little bit of tweaking. So we've got a stronger signal and I don't wanna run into any copyright issues so I've just basically had to turn it down so I can speak to you. The signal did get stronger when we were outside playing around. So I reckon if that antenna is on the wall and it's high up, that really will boost it. Okay, so in conclusion, I'm gonna make a big antenna and stick it outside. That seems to be the best thing that's working so far. And then yeah, hopefully we'll have a working FM station. The weird thing is, I don't actually even listen to the radio that much. It's just, for me, the project feels incomplete if it doesn't work. So we've got some work to do and hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have it done. So during our tests for the antenna, I used some TIG welding wire and that's all I'm gonna use for the actual part. It's pretty long, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a 90 degree bend in the wire after a certain length so that they bend out and they basically fan out like this because apparently that's the best position for them to receive the signal. Now the wire itself is gonna be attached to a little bit of steel and this steel is then gonna have some holes in and it's just gonna screw onto the fascia just outside my garage door. There we have it. We now have a stereo that can receive pretty much every FM station that I've ever heard of. So that's a win. The antenna outside looks pretty cool. It's kind of like some bug antenna or some feelers or something like that. I do quite like it. When I was putting it up, I was thinking to myself, am I essentially just making a lightning rod here? But, and then I remembered that all houses have really big metal antennas on top of them anyway. So we're probably pretty safe. Like I said, now the stereo will receive pretty much every FM radio station that I've ever heard of. And it's pretty good signal throughout. Some are a little bit cracklier than others, but I think that's the area we are in a valley. So I do think some of that does come into play. And it's on the front of the house. So it's kind of not really omnidirectional in a sense because we've got the brick wall basically just blocking it. However, it does pick up a lot of different signals 
and it works perfectly, especially for what I want. If you've enjoyed this video, then please make sure you give it a thumbs up because then likes really help me out. And if you aren't already subscribed, like most of you aren't who are watching this, then please, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future build videos. Make sure you leave me a comment to let me know what you think of the antenna and the overall system as a whole, and please share it with your friends. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll catch you in the next video.